Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video. In this video, we're actually going to be visualizing and drawing up our barrier to our game. So, what do we need to change here? Basically, we want, we, well, the only thing we actually have to add to this function at this point before it gets called is we're going to go ahead and do uh, pygame.draw.rect. Where do we want to draw the rect? Game display. What color do we want it? We're just going to make it black for now. And then we specify uh, the actual location um, and all that. So uh, this is going to be, uh, we want the X, the Y, and then we've got like width and all that that we want to add to this function. So the first thing that we want to add is you've got the X, uh, X location, and then you've got basically... Uh, display underscore height uh, minus random height. Now, why are we doing that for the Y? Keep in mind that the height of Y, even though it feels to you because of math class uh, in high school, that Y, as you add one to Y, it goes up, but that's not the case in Pi game and really computer graphics ever it's actually y is zero at the top and then goes down so you have to keep this in mind um, so this is the display height is actually going to be display height minus the random height and then that will be uh, how tall you want y to be anyway that's the uh, y and then you've got width for now we're just gonna throw in 50 that, so that makes the barrier 50 pixels wide and then um, how tall is that well it's ran it's Oops, sorry, caps on. Random height tall. So the starting point is that Y that's above. And actually, let's, well, we have to bring this up. But the starting point is, you know, in the middle of the screen, which really starts at the top of our uh, barrier. And then we add to it moving down. But anyway, you'll see what I mean in a minute if you don't already follow. Anyway, so that's our barrier. Now we need to stop calling barrier here. Otherwise, we're going to get 20 barriers. That would look actually kind of interesting. I kind of want to <laughs> go ahead and leave that. Uh, we'll never see it though because it will clear, but just for kicks and laughs and everything. We'll cut that and then we go down to the game loop and basically, uh, so we're in our game loop and then before we actually draw everything, so we've got the tank, now we can draw the barrier. I'm just going to paste this for loop in there just to get a good idea of our barriers. First, let's go ahead and just do one. Um, that might go to zero one, but anyway, play. Oh, right. Okay, so, <laughs> so it's already doing it for us. That's cool. Um, now I really want to do for X and range 25, so it'll probably look like music or something. Um, so anyway, it's running through this loop. Part of the problem is uh, we don't have a constant variable, um, so we're getting basically this. Um, I am really curious because uh, for X and range, let's do, let's do 25. <laughs> okay, play. Nice. <laughs> uh, it does, you know, it looks like some crazy music, nothing uh, too sexy or anything, but pretty good. So anyway, uh, there's that. We can move our tank around. Our tank is like, uh, what do I do? I'm just not sure how to navigate this. Um, so we can see that basically this is pretty good. I'm not sure we can shoot an arc like over this point. Um, maybe we could with enough power. Um, we'll see about that one, but the other tank could like hide right here. But then again, he would never be able to make the shot either. Anyway, that's pretty good. We'll go ahead and we'll keep that for now. Um, that looks pretty cool too. <laughs> Uh, so now what we want to do is we need to slow this down, obviously, and we want to just basically, we want to have like one per rendering of the game loop. So you basically, you're going to have the tank game, and then you obviously you're going to shoot each other until one person blows up, and then that's game over, or you win, right? Either you blow up and it's game over, or you beat them, and you've won. And then you want a new barrier, right? You don't want the same barrier every time, and you also can't really have this, although this adds a degree of interestingness uh, to your game. But basically, this barrier is like one big giant barrier because <laughs> you're probably not going to make the shot um, any other way. But anyway, so let's close out of this. 
So the next thing uh, for us to cover is actually putting that barrier in a position that isn't going to just like refresh every time. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. And to give you a hint, we're probably going to have to modify some of this stuff and then only modify this every time. So we'll basically be moving the function down to game loop and then barrier just draws a barrier. But uh, we'll save that for the next video. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned to the next video.